In this video, I will show you the seven not so popular but super useful tools in Google Maps. To open Google Maps, type in Google Maps in the search bar. Enter. Google Maps. Let's see how to use the distance and area measurement tool in Google Maps. To find the distance between these two points, right click on the first point. Measure distance. Left click on the second point. And we have the aerial distance between these two locations. 2.61 km. The same distance is displayed in this card here. Like I said before, this is the aerial distance between these two locations. Now if you want the road distance between these two points, right click, clear measurement. Again right click on the first location. Measure distance. Click anywhere in this road. Second point is created. Again. Third point is created. And you can see the total distance getting updated. Now keep on adding points up to the destination. And here we have the road distance between these two locations. In other words, the total length of the line connecting all these points. You can adjust these points if you want to. Now to delete a point, click on that point. See the point got deleted. Now to add a new point, Click on the line, holding the mouse button, drag and release the mouse button. See a new point is added. Now about measuring area using the same tool. To find the area of this building, first of all we have to clear the measurement. Right click anywhere on this boundary. Measure distance. Now keep on adding points and close this figure. Next point. Now to close this figure, click on the starting point. And here we have the area of this closed figure. See the area is displayed in square meter as well as square feet. Like I have shown before, we can add and remove points if we want to. What we see here is the map view of this place called Alapura. For the satellite view of this place, I mean the view created using the satellite imageries. Click on this button called satellite. And here we have the satellite view of Alapura. Again for map view, click on map. To get the details of the live traffic on these roads, hover the point over this button here, traffic, and here we have the live traffic on these roads. There are two lines on each road, which indicates traffic on both directions. Green color indicate fast traffic, and dark shade indicate slow or heavy traffic. Now for the typical traffic on these roads, click here, typical traffic. There are seven letters indicating seven days of a week. Today is Monday. And here is a timeline that spans from 6 a.m. in the morning to 10 p.m. at night. For Wednesday's traffic, click on W. Saturday. Sunday. Again for live traffic. Now to turn off this feature, click on this button. To get the coordinates of a location, I mean the latitude and longitude of a location, right click on that location, 
and here we have the coordinates of this point. Click here. The data is copied to clipboard. To share a location with a person or multiple persons, right click on that location. What's here? Click on this share button. We can directly share this location on Facebook or Twitter if we want to. To email this location, click on Gmail. Type in the address, subject, click on send. And if you want to copy the link for this location, click on copy link. To get the list of a particular amenity at a location, for example, to get the list of nearby hospitals at this location, right click, search nearby, type in hospital in the search box, enter, and here is the list of nearby hospitals. This H icon represents a hospital. Hover on an icon to get the distance and time required to reach that hospital. Now for the list of nearby movie theaters. To see the interactive panoramic views available at a location, hover the pointer over this button, More, Street View. See the map code filled with lines representing street views. On a closer look, we can see photo space like this. See the circles here represent photo spheres. Let's check this photo sphere. See, we have a 360 degree image of this location. Once again, like I said before, these lines represent street views. Now for a virtual tour or a virtual walk through the street, Click on this street view. See we have an interactive 360 degree view of the street. You can see an arrow moving along with my pointer. Now click anywhere on the street to move forward. Click on this button to turn off this feature. Google Maps timeline will show you the list of places you have visited and the routes you have taken based on your location history. To see that data, make sure that you have logged into your Google account. Once you have logged in, in Google Maps, click on menu, your timeline, a new tab for timeline is opened. And these are the places which I have visited in past few years. Now for the list of these places, click here. Using these options here, we can see the route which we have taken on a particular date. To see the places which I have visited on 23rd of November 2022, here 2022, 
month, November, day 23. See, these are the places which I have visited on 23rd of November 2022. And here is the route which I have taken. Next day, Now, if you want to delete this data, use this icon here, delete day. When compared to this desktop version, mobile version of Google Maps is having more features. We'll discuss about those features in a future video. Until then, thank you for watching and wish you a great day.